Yay! And welcome to Winning Daily Podcast. We're here for March 20th. We got a big show today. We're going to add in a new sport that we're picking. We got some horse racing action. The first of the trail to the Kentucky Derby and the Triple Crown really does start today with the Louisiana Derby. So we got some picks in that one. We got a, a little bit of soccer. It's a very light weekend in soccer. We had a couple picks uh, Friday, a couple picks today, and a couple picks picks for tomorrow uh we got a whole lot of college basketball once again to pick on and we got a little tennis thrown in there also a little boxing uh to go with uh today so let's start out with the boxing we're gonna go with a name i can't pronounce azbek adugufarov uh kazakhstan we know the country can't pronounce the name. So we're going to go with Azbek, plus 225 on points versus Pavel Silgium. Uh, this is a fun name uh, fight here. But uh, Pavel, I-, I know because he fights a lot of a lot of uh, upcoming prospects. He's a German guy, has a lot of wins, has a lot of losses, has a lot of fights. Um Azbek is a little bit of a prospect, uh, but uh, we'll see what level he's at. I think he's a little bit better than Pavel. Uh, he doesn't have the type of knockout power. Pavel has always had a pretty good chin. So I think Azbek uh, will win this one on points. You're getting a pretty good price here at plus 225. All right. We'll move on to the real prospects. We're going to go first with Anthony Fowler, a prospect I really, really do like. We're getting decent value here. Uh, I don't know if he can knock him out. I think he will be able to from what I've seen. Uh, Anthony Fowler plus 150 by KO versus Jorge Fortilla. Uh, Really like Fowler here. Really like Fowler overall as a prospect. So uh, Anthony Fowler plus 150 by KO over Jorge Fortilla. And then we get into the two. Two big ones today. Um, Ator Ben Bedidev, a really, really great fighter. Uh, 20 and 0, I believe. 20 knockouts. Does he continue? Uh, I I don't think he gets the knockout here. He, he's stepping up a little bit in competition here. I think uh, Adam Dennis uh, will be able to withstand his punching power. I think we get a decision here, and there's a lot of good value on the decision here. Uh, so, Artur Benbadidev, plus 550 on points over Adam Dennis. Uh, really like this uh, value here at plus 550. And then we're going with a very, very dangerous dangerous one. Virgil Ortiz Jr. plus 333 on points versus Maurice Hooker. So we have the two big time knockout artists uh, who've done nothing but knock guys out and we're taking the points on both. Uh, this one I'm a little bit more nervous about. Uh, because uh, Maurice Hooker, uh, the other time he stepped up in competition with an elite level prospect uh, on the level of like uh, Virgil Ortiz Jr., he did get knocked out. But I think uh, Maurice has a little bit to him today. I think uh, Maurice Hooker will be able to withstand Virgil Ortiz. I think Ortiz will get the uh, points win here. And at plus 333, really, really good uh, value here. All right. We're going to go to horse racing for the first time on the year. We're going to go to the fairgrounds. We're going to do two races at the fairgrounds. We're going to do the Louisiana Oaks and the Louisiana Derby here. We'll start out with the Louisiana Oaks. This is race 13 at the fairgrounds. We got two bets on race 13. We're going to go with a trifecta. We're going to go with win 6-8 place 6-8, and that's Travel Column and Clarie. Uh, These two are the probably the best two female uh, horses in the uh, road to the Kentucky Derby. They're battling. They've been battling all year long. Uh, Travel Column has two wins uh, versus Clarie. Clarie has one win, and she won the last one. I think these two uh, really will uh, bypass this field really, really easy. So what you do... In the trifecta, you do a 6-8, you do a 6-8 in the win and the place. And then in the show, we're just going to wheel it. So we're going to have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7 on the show. So uh, if we can get that 6-8, we'll definitely get the show because we have every other horse. And uh, we should be able to hit that trifecta. Hopefully one of those long shots can come in on the third and uh, we can get a nice value on that. And then we're going to do a win play show bet on the number 8 travel column here. I really like Travel Column. I think this will be the horse to take in all the ladies' races throughout the the era of uh, the Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont. So uh, 
I think uh, this will be our chance at the female uh, horse of the year travel column. All right, we're going to move to the Louisiana Derby. This is a very interesting uh, race here. Three uh, really, really uh, sort of derby contenders right out the box. Uh, Midnight Bourbon, Mandolin, and the one I like the best, Proxy. Uh, you can throw Hot Rod Charlie in there, but I don't really like Hot Rod Charlie all that much. Uh, Midnight Bourbon and Mandolin uh, I are getting a lot of the press here, but I really, really like Proxy here. I, I think Proxy is a derby favorite. Now, the Louisiana Derby in past years has not led to Derby success, but maybe that would change here. Uh, Baffert, of course, always has a couple horses and probably the two lead candidates are the favorite for the Derby right now. But uh, I, I like a couple of these uh, horses right here. So we're going to start out the same way in this race. We're going to take a trifecta. Now, for the win, we're just going to take the number four horse proxy for the place and show. We're going to go with the three, five, six, seven. And the same with the show, the three, five, six, seven. Now, if you wanted to do just a uh, trifecta box with the four, seven, six, I really think that would uh, cover most of your bases because I think those three horses are head and shoulders uh, above everything else. If you wanted to do a trifecta box and add Hot Rod Charlie in there, I think you might be able to... Uh, win you some money as well but uh, I, I really like uh, putting proxy as the win here and then uh, covering your bases in the place and show with the three five six seven in both uh, place and show and then we'll do one more we're going to do win place show the number four proxy uh, really like proxy I, I think this is the best horse in the field uh, midnight bourbon and uh, mandolin really really good horses but I just think uh, proxy stands out above the rest uh, to me so that's our first touch of horse racing on the year will have much more to come as the triple crown uh heats up and gets later and later in the season uh but we start out with the louisiana derby and the louisiana oaks okay let's move on to tennis we got one bet the wta the mexico open is uh finishing up here we got a semi-final on the women's side we got the final on the men's side didn't like the value in the men's side so we're going to go with the women's side here and we're going to ride who we've been riding a little bit all week and that's Leanne Lily Ann Fernandez Lily Ann Annie Fernandez okay we got it out there it, it's a tongue twister uh we really like uh Annie Fernandez here, uh, the Canadian minus 105 versus uh, Sarah Sobris Tomo, uh, the Spanish competitor. I, I like Annie Fernandez. I think she's probably uh, the favorite to win this right now. Uh, and Lee out of the American side, probably the co-favorite. But I really like Annie Fernandez, and I'm going to write her at this minus 105 price. So that's what we got on the tennis side of things. Let's move on to the soccer side of things. We got two bets in the Premier League for tomorrow. We're going to take Aston Villa plus the 190 versus Tottenham. Anyone who watched Tottenham play in the Europa League and completely messed, melt down and uh, end up blowing that to match all together to Zerbi out of the Europa League is Tottenham. And uh, I think this is just going to start a spiral here. Uh, I don't believe Sun's going to play again. That really, really uh, hurts Tottenham's attack. Uh, I just uh, think Aston Villa, they've been a little down down since Grealish is out, but uh, I think Tottenham is way, way down here, and I look for Villa to snatch a victory here at plus 190 on the three-way line. Speaking of teams I really, really like, I'm going to continue to bet West Ham. I thought they played really, really well last week. Just a little bit unlucky in getting that loss to Manchester United, but uh, Arsenal played uh, on Thursday in the Europa League. They played a handful of their uh, elite guys. I just think West Ham's a better team here. You got West Ham even money on draw no bet versus Arsenal. West Ham, I think, really, really can handle them. If anything, this will be a 0-0 draw. But I don't see how Arsenal finds a way to score on West Ham. I think West Ham will find a way to get behind Arsenal and that uh, porous defense. Uh, look for Miguel Antonio to get a goal here. Get behind. West Ham gets this win at even money. Draw no bet. Last, we'll go to Syria. We got Napoli. We got Roma. Really good matchup. Uh, I've had a really good read on Roma all year long. They've really struggled versus the elite team. So we're going to take Napoli here at plus 175. Now, uh, we're using elite teams uh, very, very... Uh, 
stretching it out here with Napoli. But uh, on their day, Napoli has been able to hang with the big boys. I think uh, that trend continues where Roma just is too open and uh, Napoli scraps a goal or two here and uh, gets by Roma. Roma also played uh, Europa League during the week, so they might be a little worn down. Uh, So it's a really good price on Napoli at plus 175. All right, no NBA picks today. There were about six games, just did not like the lines on them. Let's get to our NCAA tournament bets and we're going to start out with the first game of the day we're going georgetown plus six versus colorado we're also going georgetown plus 222 on the money line so we got georgetown plus six georgetown plus 222 on the money line really like the value here i think that georgetown team should roll we're going to take our saint bonaventures plus two versus lsu we got to ride the bonnies i think they're a sneaky team here. Can they get past LSU? This is a very tough matchup, but I think LSU's poorest defense, St. Bonaventure's will be able to control this pace. Have we seen anything from the first two days? It's that the team that can control the pace can win this game, win their games. So I think Bonaventure's can control the place. Very interesting second round matchup if the Bonnies can get by here. All right, we're going to take a one big upset today. We're going to ride Grand Canyon University plus 14 and a half versus Iowa. We're, we're also going to ride the money line on Grand Canyon University plus 850 versus Iowa. Like Grand Canyon University, I think Iowa's poorest defense might come back to haunt them here in the tournament game. I don't think anyone knows how good really Grand Canyon really, really is. Uh, they are a very good basketball team. They hey, take pride in building their basketball program. I know everybody just thinks that's an online school. It is a K- school. With a physical campus, uh, they really do take pride in their basketball program, and I look for them to be able to hang with Iowa. Can they get the upset? I don't know, but I don't want to be left out uh, like I was with Oral Roberts and our man Dynamite David yesterday, so we're going to ride Grand Canyon plus the 850 here. One more bet in the NCAA tournament today. We're also going to take Ohio plus the 7 versus Virginia and Ohio plus the 260 on the money line here. So those are our bets today full slate of all kinds of sports. We're all over the place here. I think a lot of winners on the day. Be sure to follow us on greenlightnetwork.org, Greenlight Network on Facebook and YouTube. I'm GLNChamp5 on Twitter and Instagram. That's our show, and we're out. <laughs>